Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we have a quick review of the new Google Chromecast. All right, guys, let's go ahead and open this up and uh, see what's inside. So this just slides up. Actually, it doesn't. There's a little thing right here. So you just pull this. And then there's a little tab here. So this opens up, and here you have the instructions, which are pretty straightforward on how to get this set up. It's basically three easy steps. Uh, plug it into the power, into the TV, put it in the TV input, and then set it up. So pretty straightforward instructions. And here we go, the actual device itself. You can see the packaging. Pretty nice and uh, clean. It's definitely in here nice and secure. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. And uh, here we have the Chromecast. And this is significantly different than the first generation Chromecast. Um, in my opinion, it looks a lot better. It, it almost, you know, has an artistic look to it. This is magnetic, so you can see it just clips together. There's a magnet right here, and this is metallic. So it's pretty cool. It's nice that they actually have the HDMI cord built in. So you always have HDMI cord with you. You don't have to worry about, you know, ever not having an HDMI cord. So this is uh, pretty straightforward. Um, looks good and it feels pretty solid. I'm gonna put this down for here for now. And then here we have the cord. So if your TV or monitor has a power, powered HDMI, you won't need this, but most people will. So you just simply just plug this, just like this into here, and you plug this into the wall and then you'll have power. So uh, first impressions of the actual device, it feels solid. I got the black one. It also comes in yellow and red, but I prefer black. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up and we'll take a look at this. All right guys, and the install is really simple. You literally just take this and you just plug it into the back, into the HDMI, and pretty much that is, that's it and you're good to go. All right, guys, I'm going to name this. I'm going to go ahead and hit set up name. Now it's asking me for my Wi-Fi password. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and enter my Wi-Fi password and get this all set up. All right, guys, I uh, got my Wi-Fi password in there. And now it is simply uh, setting up and connecting. So this is a pretty quick and straightforward process to get this going. And what I'll be doing is I'll be using a combination of my tablet, my MacBook, and my phone to uh, for the Chromecast to cast on. I guess you can say, yeah. I'll be casting from those three devices. So I'm going to go ahead and let this update, and I will come back when this is done updating. All right, guys, that update was pretty quick. It took about three minutes to do the full update. Uh, now, as you can see on the monitor, it says ready to cast. So I have a YouTube video up. Uh, this is from uh, Brandon Carter, his YouTube channel. This is just a uh, video about uh, fasting, intermittent fasting. So I'm just going to click play. And you can see it's playing on here. And then I simply hit the uh, cast button up here. And I'll kind of zoom in so you guys can see. So I have my Chromecast, my Fire TV, and my Xbox One. All options to cast on, but I'm going to and cast it to the uh, Chromecast. And simply put, in the park, there it is. Uh, you know, some outside workout, so I'm gonna make a, my pre-workout shake. I'm gonna make it to go. You know, this thing, a uh, dose locker. So extremely easy to use. Um, I don't know where I even I got this shit from. I'll switch another, to another video. Shake, this is pre-workout. What I put in, what I put in there is. Let us switch to this video. It's. Redline reviews. The first manufacturer you think of when it comes to a luxury high performance coupe. However, that notion a Cadillac, with the and I can of... fast forward just like that. The dash around the and door panels that there it goes. Basically see a lot of so, you, as you can see on the tablet itself, 
it's not um, showing the video, but it is showing on the monitor. Let's connect it to the Chromecast. One thing that you can do is Chromecast, Netflix. So, for example, here is a movie. I will select this movie. And then I will select the Chromecast option. And it's pretty cool. Just hit play. It's going to load. Actually, let's try this again. Uh, Chromecast, click this. And there it is. It's going to load the movie. Zero, zero percent. You can kind of, kind of see it loading at the bottom, and there it goes. So, just that simple. You can easily, uh, you know, do YouTube, do Netflix, and a lot of different cool things with the Chromecast. So, I definitely do like it. Definitely is going to add some value to me. All right, guys, and here I have a uh, Sling TV. As you can see, I'm simply going to hit the uh, Chrome button here. And I'm going to start casting. So as you can see now, it's popped up on the monitor. And it's going to load. And it's literally that simple. I can now use my Sling TV using the Chromecast. There it is. Now I'm just watching TV on my Sling service using Chromecast. So yeah, nice, smooth, and very, you know... It's 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 pretty it's pretty smooth. Uh, I had the Fire Stick. Um, I like the Fire Stick. I got the Chromecast. I actually got the Chromecast for free. I uh, already had Spotify, but they had a promotion where if you prepaid for three months, you can get a free Chromecast. So what I did was I canceled my Spotify account and I prepaid with another email account. I got a free Chromecast. So um, I mean, so far so good. I'm liking the Chromecast. Uh, for YouTube, for Netflix, for Sling TV, um, and I've mentioned it before, I actually cut my cable about eight months ago, so these wireless toggle devices are great for me, and uh, so far I really do like the Chromecast. As you can see, it's, it's literally just playing Sling TV from my tablet, and it is casting it over here, so nice, smooth, uh, no stutter, no nothing. It's working great. Now, uh, real quickly, this Chromecast app is pretty cool. Like I mentioned, I have it on my Samsung Tab S2. But you can see, if you click the what's on, you can see what's on on. YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Google Play, Crackle. It's basically looking at all the apps that I have already, and it's telling me what's on. Um, I also have my Spotify and Google Music app, so that's pretty cool. If you uh, click the Devices button... You can see that right now it's using the cast and what it's casting. It's casting uh, Sports Center via Sling TV right there. And if you click the Get Apps button, this is pretty neat. You can see the different apps that they have by categories. So there's a sports category where you have MLB, MLS, NBA, Red Bull, UFC. You can get these apps and they're all free. Uh, there's apps for music lovers right here. News media apps, another really cool one. They have, they have games, photography apps, nourishment interests and hobbies, comedy apps, Disney apps. And these are some of the ones that you can pay for, TV Companion. So you can pay for HBO to go. Uh, I think it's 15 bucks a month. They have Showtime, which is another subscription that you can pay for. Um, and then also everyday apps at the bottom. So overall, I do think that the software that comes with the Chromecast is pretty nice and smooth. Runs smooth and it's definitely, you know, allows you to connect to all types of things out there. So I'm definitely loving the software package that it comes with. In conclusion, the Google Chromecast second generation is a fantastic device. For only 35 bucks, this is really a steal, guys. Um, they could probably charge 50 or even 60 bucks for this device and I'm pretty sure they'd still sell a lot. Uh, it adds a lot of value to the entertainment factor, especially for people who don't have cable TV, uh, like myself. I've gone wireless, and for someone like me, this type of device is a godsend. It's a fantastic device. 
Uh, it looks good, it's easy to set up, and it works flawlessly with multiple devices. Anyways guys, thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, please hit the like button for me. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel guys. Thank you very much and have a great day.